What is up, humans? I'm pretty excited about this release. I couldn't wait to make this video. This is probably my most anticipated dunk release of the year, I think. This might be my favorite. I've always been a fan of blind box or blind bag toys, whether it's skateboards, uh, vinyl toys, uh, even sometimes comics come in a blind bag and you can't see which cover you're getting. I love that. Um, Magic the Gathering comes on a 15 card sealed deck. You don't know what you're gonna get in a little booster pack, whatever. I love that kind of stuff. And that's always been kind of my history growing up as like a little fantasy nerd, um, playing Dungeons and Dragons and Magic the Gathering and collecting toys, all that stuff. So let's just jump into this real quick. I've got this one right here. And um, if you guys would notice, <laughs> I have this, uh, different setup above me. I'm not used to this. Can you see my hat? Woo. I'm not used to this, so this whole setup might be a little weird. <clears throat> As you see, we have the Quick Strike Nike SB box. Here is your color code and size information. That is my size, 11 and a half. And uh, yeah, your Quick Strike box. You, you guys have seen it before. This is so weird having this above me. What do you guys think of the above shot versus the side shot? For this release, I just thought the above shot made more sense, but I may start doing more um, above camera shots, just like this. So one thing I wanted to talk about is this right here. I kind of sent you guys a clue in my last video is the um, the style number of a Nike SB Dunk is usually right here, but usually there's the style code and then the color code is separated by a dash. So these boxes do not have the color code on the box. So you don't know which one, if you're getting the New York or the San Francisco Huff Dunk Low. There's been some speculation. I heard a funny rumor or a funny conspiracy theory today that you could potentially um, feel inside the box and know if you got the friends and family one with the flat lace because the laces are different on the friends and family. I don't think that's true, guys. We can actually see on the back end of what is being shipped to us. So even though it's blind and we don't know what's in the box particularly, on the back end of the company side, there is a color number or a color code number assigned to each box. And that's used for billing purposes and manufacturing purposes. So I know how many of each pair we're getting and, and we're not permitted to talk about numbers or anything like that. You guys always speculate on numbers and you can go diving in to all that stuff, but, um, I just thought that was an interesting tidbit. I do not think the friends and family, I do not, let me say that again, I do not think the friends and family Huff Dunk is going to be dabbled throughout the release. I think those are exclusively for friends and family. And I think that if a shop was getting the friends and family Dunk hidden in their allocation, there would be a third color code on your bill and there's only two color codes. So um, some shops out there may have a third color code. So they might know that they're getting some of the friends and family, but I really do think I would probably put money on the fact that the friends and family is only going to friends and family. Anyway, all that said, let's dive into this one right here and see what we got. Here is your Puff Dunk Low as it is packaged. I voted early. I voted on Friday, so I put this sticker on there so you guys could see it and you could go vote. Go vote. So let's see. First of all, can you feel like Braille what the laces feel like in this shoe? The bag's pretty thick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say that you would have to be really determined, and I know a lot of you guys are very determined, let me get this out of the way, to feel the laces inside this bag. I don't think you can. 
the plastic's pretty thick. Um, and I can't even feel laces in there. Like, I can't even tell if it's laced or not. So, um, I don't know. Let's open this thing up and see what we got. I will say this. When we do our blind bag, um, ours are heat sealed. You can't just, like, peel it open like this. So I'm kind of thinking if you opened this... You could you could reseal it and pretend it was never opened. So check it out. Yeah. So when we do ours, when we do our blind bags, they are heat sealed. I have a shrink wrap machine at home, and I do I shrink wrap the box and everything, so you don't even know if you get a quick strike or a gr until you break that black seal. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. I tore the paper. I didn't know if it was going to have the box paper inside the little huff bag. But there you go. No discerning properties on the outside of the bag. Um, there is this number. But I don't think that has anything to do with the style code. I'll check that out. Huh. I'll check that out right now. Fair enough. Okay, so if you can see this number right here, it's a small uh, 33, well, hold on, I can't figure out, there you go, 33, 43. Um, that might have something to do with the, the bag size or the bag type, but it is not anything to do with the style code. Like I said, you could reseal this bag if you wanted to. If you were careful enough, Yep. Resealed my Huff bag. Here you go. This is the San Francisco pair. I'm sure you guys already figured that out. But uh, let's just take a look really quick. I noticed some things right off the bat pulling this out that some of you will love and some of you will hate. But yeah, here you go. There is your um, San Francisco Keith Huffnagel um, Huff Dunk Low. Which way is up? Nobody knows. Um, that way is up. There's your Huff toe box right there. So first thing I notice about the toe box is this right here is not turn and stitch, which is the typical... Um, toe box you would get on a Nike SB. Normally they have the turn and stitch toe cap that I talk about in every video. Um, these guys do not. This is a standard stitched toe. Little silver Nike logo right there. Metal. It does kind of stick off the shoe a little bit. Can you see that? Uh, maybe if I do it that way. Yeah. Anyway. Can't see what I'm looking at. This is this is a lot harder than over here, but some people want the overhead shot, so maybe I could do both going forward. Um, I might do that. So it, you can see the edge of the material right here. This looks like it wears away from black to brown leather. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but it definitely feels that way, looks that way. So it's going to have a super premium vibe, like a. I don't know, like a more like a boot than a than an actual sneaker. So this is all tumbled or pebbled leather as well as you can see there. There is your dude. There is your your gray swoosh. Also, everything is that tumbled or pebbled leather. It's a nicer leather for sure. And again, you can see this this edge you can see this edge right here that shows that maybe this will discolor as well so no ollie protection over your bottom laces right there so that's kind of different and then also you don't have the oval laces in these so this is just your standard flat lace this is the og dunk this isn't like your upgraded um 
Nike SB skatable dunk. It does have premium materials and you can tell that, but even right down to the right down to the little heel pods that are not in there. Anyway, just take another close look at how nice this leather looks. It is obviously a a nicer leather than what you get on a dunk low most of the time. I know most skaters want suede, but here's your uh, your Keith on the heel there and you can see the San Francisco skyline right there. No file on midsole and you see the OG tread on this thing. So no file on and OG tread, which is kind of cool. And then here you go. Here's your tongue label, Nike SB San Francisco, and you have the thin, the thin tongue. Holy crap, that is hard. Um, on the very inside right here, you got 20 years of huff. I don't know why the tongue like the tongue label is longer than usual, but it just has its normal, normal stuff on there. Let's pull the other one out. Your obvious difference here is your forever, Keith forever. This metal swoosh is flush with the shoe. The one on the other one is not, kind of sticks up. Oh, and I just saw something in the light. I believe this might be 3M. The cityscape seems to kind of, kind of reflect. Your secondary lace option is black and it is also a flat lace, not the oval SB laces, so. Ooh, second time this has happened. Check that out. The inside of the uh, poron is, is tonal. Usually this is dark gray. So if you guys watched my um, Why So Sad video, mine have this tonal um, material here. And my buddy Moondust, his is dark gray like normal. So yeah, interesting. And there is your sock liner here. You got the little little pup right there and your Nike SB um, branding on the, on the sock liner. So zoom air in the heel, pour on four foot and your green, your huff green and sole there. So yeah, it looks like your your sock liners are the same on both shoe. Um, there you go, there's a good look at both of them. Kinda cool, this overhead thing is super weird for me and I apologize. This one says 20 years of huff. And this one says, this one says 20 years of Nike SB, so. Sorry to get all vloggy again real quick. And I know this volume is gonna be different than the other one. Um, I forgot the most important feature. I just wasn't thinking about it. I'm shaking, I'm sorry. Um, the side panel right here, this side panel is cut away. I don't think I'm gonna cut mine away. Um, yeah, it cuts away and it, and it goes down to tie dye. So I'll just find a photo of that and I'll show you guys. Maybe one of the locals will want to cut theirs and we'll make a video of that. So stay tuned for that. Uh, sorry, I forgot that one, that little aspect. Thanks for, I was just talking to Redbeard in the DMs and he reminded me. I think that's it guys. That's a quick look at the Dunk Low OG QS. Should be any day now and we will announce raffle details or release details. Um, we're not real sure how this is going to go down yet. But stay tuned to our social media and stay tuned for the the New York version, because I'm obviously gonna get those sometime, so. This whole new setup has me so, has my brain all mixed up. So let me know if you like this above um, second shot, or do you like the side second shot better? Um, I think I'm just gonna start doing both. So that's that's my, um, that's my decision, I think, because I like this. I like, I feel like I'm more inclusive over here, maybe, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me try these things on. We'll see you in a second. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this thing up real quick. Just because these are an OG, don't go down a half size. They're pretty snug for an OG, but I would still stay true to size. Don't go down a half size. 
Sometimes people talk about going down a half size in the OG. No. True to size. Wrap it up. Goodbye.